Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 430. Brown C-Card Syndrome. What is Brown C-Card Syndrome? Brown C-Card Syndrome is a condition in which there is a loss of sensation and motor function that is caused by lateral hemisection of the spinal cord. And hemisection just means cutting of the spinal cord. In hemisection of the spinal cord, there is going to be corticospinal tract damage. Due to the corticospinal tract damage, what are the findings seen in Brown C. Card syndrome? In Brown C. Card syndrome, there is going to be ipsilateral upper motor neuron signs below the level of the lesion, and this is due to the corticospinal tract damage. What are some of the findings in Brown C. Card syndrome due to the dorsal column damage? Due to the dorsal column damage, there is going to be ipsilateral loss of tactile, vibration, proprioception senses below the level of the lesion. And tactile just means fine touch. What are some of the findings seen in Brown C. Card syndrome due to the spinal thalamic tract being damaged? Due to the spinal thalamic tract damage in Brown C. Card syndrome, there is going to be contralateral pain and temperature loss below the level of the lesion. What are some additional findings seen in Brown C. Card syndrome? Additional findings of Brown C. Card syndrome includes ipsilateral loss of all sensation at the level of the lesion and there is going to be ipsilateral lower motor neuron signs such as flaccid paralysis at the level of the lesion. In Brown C. Card syndrome, what can happen if the lesion occurs above T1? If the lesion occurs above T1, the patient may present with Horner syndrome and this is due to the damage of the sympathetic ganglion. What is Horner syndrome? Horner syndrome is a syndrome in which there is ptosis which is drooping of the eyelids and hydrosis which is decreased sweating and meiosis, which is constriction of the pupils. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.